New quarantine guidelines for students and teachers go into effect today. The Alabama Department of Public Health made the change in protocol. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon live this morning with more on what she found out from the assistant state health officer. Hillary, good morning. All right, good morning. Well, as we continue into the school year, many students are returning to school full time, which means the Alabama Department of Public Health is following closely on how schools have been responding and following their COVID-19 toolkit. Dr. Karen Landers, the assistant state health officer, says they made a recent change to the guidelines on when someone should go into quarantine. Now, this change applies to someone who comes into contact with a suspected COVID-19 person. The change is those who come in contact with a suspected person only have to go in quarantine if that suspected person lost their sense of taste or smell. Dr. Lander says the reason for that is because the loss of taste or smell is almost a sure sign of a COVID-19 positive case and no other illness. She says overall she's impressed with how schools have been following their toolkit. Our schools truly have been masterful in this situation. They have worked so hard. Uh, everyone that I have worked with from superintendents to principals, teachers, support staff, school nurses, and other persons involved have all worked very, very diligently. Dr. Landers wanted to clarify if you are suspected of having COVID-19, you are still going home in isolation. And if you come in close contact with a positive case, you are also in quarantine for 14 days. So this specifically involves a person who is suspected of being around somebody who is suspected of having COVID-19. Dr. Landers says the school staff is up to date on this and they got trained last week and these new guidelines go into effect today. Art, back to you. All right, Hillary, thanks.